Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Deployment pipelines are going to help you to move your Power BI content from dev to test, test to production workspaces. And for a long time, we can only associate three workspaces maximum with deployment pipelines. However, on our database side, we have dev, test, acceptance, then staging, and then production. Or maybe there can be any other stage as well or working environment where you are working on. And it was being difficult to synchronize with the backend database environment to your Power BI workspaces. So now you don't need to worry anymore because Microsoft has a fantastic update. With the help of that, this problem is going to get solved. If you don't know what are the deployment pipelines, then please do check the link in the description section or somewhere above because we have already created a fantastic video on deployment pipelines. Now, if you would like to know more about these multiple stages in Microsoft Power BI, then please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. All right, guys, now I'm on my Power BI service or Microsoft Power BI service portal. And over here, you can see that there are the deployment pipelines. First of all, please do note that deployment pipelines are Microsoft Power BI premium feature. So in order to use them, you should have Power BI premium per user, Microsoft Fabric, or Power BI premium capacity license. Power BI Pro users cannot use them, neither the Power BI free users. So please make sure that you have the right license to use them. Now. Coming over here, you would find deployment pipeline over here, but if you are going to go to your workspace now, you would find this option deployment pipelines over here too. So you can simply even click over here and you're going to come back under the deployment pipelines. Now let's create a deployment pipeline over here and see what we have. So click on this create deployment pipeline and I'm going to give it a name demo multiple stages pipeline. So this is my this is going to be my name of this deployment pipeline you can write the description as well which is just optional so click on next and over here you're going to find this complete new dialog box so now here in the deployment pipelines you can associate multiple workspaces not just only three you can add up to 10 workspaces but minimum number should be two so that means two to ten workspaces you can associate with your deployment pipeline so how you are going to do it let me show you so first of all, here you can add simply one more and let's say I'm going to say it UAP or acceptance. You can give it any name and now I'm going to add one more, which is going to be my staging. Now, if I try to move them up and down, this is not going to work from here. So for that, you have to just rename them. But I was hoping that Microsoft is going to also bring a new feature over here in the deployment pipelines window that I can move them directly up and down if I have to maybe some arrows or I can simply drag up and down over here, which is as of now not here. Now it's going to create it and you would see, oh, oh my God, only three stages are over here. But no, guys, they are not just three. You can simply go ahead and you would find all the five stages are over here. Now, question is how I'm going to change their names. Well, guys, you can change their names as well. For example, dev is going to be my first. And if I would like to change it to production, I can make it not just the production. I'll say, hey, rather than production, next would be my UAT. And I'm going to give it a name UAT slash acceptance because UAT is already existing. So it's not going to work. So this is going to be my UAT. Next is going to be my staging. So I'm going to first not going to change the staging. First, I'm going to change the staging to production. Save it and I can say my UAT is going to be my staging one or stage. If you would like to give some description that you can also give and also if you would notice that make this stage public. So this option, I'm not sure it was earlier, but if you would like to make this stage public, you can do that. If you would like to learn more, simply click over here and you would get this by default. The final stage of the pipeline is made public. A consumer of a public stage who has no access to the pipeline sees it as a regular workspace without the stage name and deployment pipeline icon on the workspace page next to the workspace. So please go over here as well in the deployment pipeline section and you are going to learn a lot of new things over here. And don't forget to watch the video. Link is in the description section where you are going to get to know what are deployment pipelines and how you can create them. So this was the latest feature by Microsoft Power BI team where you can add from two to 10 stages in a deployment pipelines and you can associate any workspace with that. 
What I expect Microsoft over here that we can also do the lineage over here. That means we can do the branching system over here. For example, if I have staging and from staging, I want to create a new branch to stage to stage one or two that I can create. I don't want to deploy things linearly rather than linear. What if I can deploy from test to UAT and from there UAT to stage, but not directly in a linear stage way. I would like to have the branching system over there so that I can park it as a backup as well. In any case, I need a backup for a file. I don't want to go in the main branch, but I can just download it from the another branch that I have created. So Microsoft team, please try to have a look at this side as well, that if we can have a branching system in the deployment pipeline, or what if we have a way to backup our files, not just a Git integration, a very simple solution in Microsoft Power BI service where even my file has the incremental refresh, so I can still download the original file from that backup workspace. What do you think guys about it? Is it going to help you? It's not going to help you. Or you also going to raise this idea on Power BI community. Please do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any feedback for us, please don't hesitate to provide us. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon once again. Till then, keep learning and do let us know if you need any of the Power BI training programs. See you in the next video.